stand here and watch that game of football. Yeah, as it's been, it's been exciting. Uh, you know, at both ends, I think Newcastle they look a threat on the counter attack. I think Liverpool have been pretty poor at times defensively, not individually, but as a unit, they're playing far too high. Um, but the chances Liverpool have had in this game, are they not scored more than two at, at least, is uh, is beyond me. But they haven't put the chances away, Croucher. Yeah, should have should have blown them away. I mean, it was it was great to watch. I mean, the, the, the goal came. Uh, nothing really. It was a great, great ball from from Mane into the, into the box, and uh, look how strong Salah is here, holding off, and, and the presence of mind, and it had such a clinical finish. And you felt, you felt for Newcastle then with the early goal, it's been really difficult to come back. But they've they've had chances themselves. But as a finish, the, the strength, the presence of mind to bring that down, and the, yeah. and and the, and the finish was was. Well, class. That touch there as well, in it, Crash. Just sets it up and allows him to make you know, intelligent runs, and I think they could have a real threat. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Well, things settled down and they did get back into it. Mm. And it was a significant goal as well. Uh, he's become the first Liverpool player to score 20 Premier League goals in three different seasons. He's also gone into the top 12 of Liverpool uh, goal scorers. Um, there's a famous name in eighth position there uh, <laughs> on 1 5 8, though. But uh, Mo Salah, 1 2 3, considering the four seasons. Put that into context in goal scoring terms. Unbelievable. When you consider he came to Liverpool and wasn't really regarded as a, as a goal scorer. Yes, at Roma, he started getting his numbers up really significantly, but he's never been that natural finisher. He's certainly improved over time, and now he, he, I mean, he gets that many chances. It's, it's interesting, really, though. You, you wonder whether, because the way Liverpool play, it, it suits, suits him perfectly, doesn't it, John? You're being very kind to him, Michael. I know you want me to tell the truth, and this is the truth. Mo Salah is not a number nine natural finisher. The, um, the way we play and the amount of chances we create means he scores lots of goals. But he also misses lots of goals. And the goals he scored, as you saw there, was an incredible goal. But the bread and butter goal, Michael Owen, Robbie Fowler, Ian Rush, Harry Kane, Lewandowski, that's not what... So we miss so many chances, as we have in this game as well. Yeah, so, so, so how's it only 1-0 in this game, John? <laughs> well, because of bad finishing. You know, as Michael, Michael will tell you, I mean, you know, here you can see, because we've now got Jota, then what will happen is that we will create lots of chances. There's Jota once again. So you're talking about a third midfield player getting forward like Jota does, which means that, I mean, that's just a mistake by the defender. But here you would see, when you're really clinical, we would have been three or four up. And there's Jota once again. So the front four are literally playing as a front four. Yeah. yeah. And Firmino, for me, here, this is why Firmino is in the team, always. He's supposed to be the centre forward and he's creating chances for Mane and Salah. That's a fantastic ball through and we're going to see another opportunity here where once again he drops into mid, into deep position. He plays a fantastic ball through. Salah, I thought, would have taken it on himself. He tries to find Mane and Mane similar. Scores 